you ever see certain things happen to certain people and when you see the situation occur and what they going through, it kind of disappoints you because the expectation you have of that person. Well, when I'm speaking, I'm really talking about DJ Envy because I've watched DJ Envy for a long time, not just a couple years, not just a decade, but a couple decades. I'm like a real hip hop head. Like I've been an artist for a long time. I've been a lot of things as far as music related goes. I've always kept up with DJs. I've always kept up with mixtapes and artists on the come up and wanting to know how they came up, how they got on, where they come from, that type of thing, right? And DJ Envy is one of those personalities on the radio that if we had to go by A select few being the Mount Rushmore of the DJ world far as radio personality, like we would think Funk Flex would go have a place in that automatically, right? To me, DJ Envy has a place in that. Just from being a personality, not an actual person that's breaking records and breaking artists, you know what I'm saying? But... Long story short, man, let's get into it, man. Check this out. Caesar and myself did seminars. Now, the reason I did these seminars is because I wanted to uplift my community. I wanted to teach my community about real estate, things that I didn't know when I was first buying my first home. I wanted to teach our community about investing in generational wealth. So I did these seminars and brought industry professionals to all these seminars, whether it was real estate agents from different markets, contractors, uh, conventional lenders, hard money lenders. I even brought auction.com to actually show people how to purchase houses online. That's what I wanted to do for my people. Now, Caesar, if he took money, I wasn't privy to it, nor did I even know. But I do understand how people feel if they did give him money because I gave him a lot of money. Jesus. That I didn't see a dollar of return. But for, for anybody to say I was involved, that's totally not true. I would never. I've been on this radio close to 30, I've been on radio close to 30 years and never in my 30 years time that I do nothing but try to uplift people and show people a different way through the business mind. And I would never take a dollar from somebody. I, I, I could be wrong, but I didn't see nobody accusing you of taking money. I just saw them say that they met Caesar because they heard you talking about it. Yeah, you know, for all the ones that keep up with what's going on with DJ Envy, you know that he also had somebody he was affiliated with named Caesar Pena. Pena. It's flipping NJ, my friend Caesar Pena. DJ Envy often had his pal Caesar Pena on the radio host's The Breakfast Club show. Started with no money, and here I am. $50 million later in real estate. Promoting their real estate million. partnership. Now, in this federal complaint, the government says Pena engaged in a Ponzi-like scheme involving investors, adding Pena defrauded dozens of victims of millions of dollars. Oh, no. We interviewed... Being on these platforms, whether it be radio, podcasts, any types of interview types of situations where you already have a brand you pushing, a situation going on, some types of motion... These platforms can really be useful tools for marketing your brands and your products, right? So what Caesar was doing, constantly going back to the Breakfast Club and already having a following and, 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 and introducing to the public different avenues on how to be able to take your money, invest it, get a return, as well as a profit, as well as some property. So it was a lot of people that was baited into that, right? And in the process, a lot of people didn't see a return on their investment at all. It was just an investment that they just end up in the red about because it was a scam. Adding, Pena defrauded dozens of victims of millions of dollars. We interviewed many of them. I lost $200,000. $835,000 in total. I lost a total of $64,000. I lost a million dollars. Now I'm not gonna say DJ Envy was part of that because I think he being sincere when he speak and say that he took no part in that. He didn't receive no money. I feel like he being real about that, right? Because at the end of the day, when we first being introduced to Caesar as a real estate, whatever, 
we introduced to him by DJ Envy. Now, sometimes you can look out for people that's got something going on, hoping they're going to do the right thing. That don't always mean people going to do the right thing, right? Let me know what y'all think. Leave the comments in the comment section. But as far as DJ Envy goes, nah, I don't, I don't think he a scammer. No, I don't think he's... Do I think DJ Envy know more than what he say? Of course. But do I think DJ Envy was the mastermind, the one behind these people losing their money and um, losing on these false investments that they was presented by Caesar, right? Do I feel like MV hold himself accountable in certain situations. I kind of feel like that because at the end of the day, it's a lot of people that he met that kind of went on his word. So they went along and dealt with, like, if I don't know you, but somebody I deal with is, is verified, they face card is just good in the business world. When they, they if they introduce me or you to me, I'm going to shake your hand because I'm going to address you just like I would address them because we men of respect, for one. For two, I know you about your business, so you ain't just finna sit here and introduce no type of business-oriented person to me if they not solid. So I think a lot of people took that alley-oop based off of the face card of DJ Envy, and they went and messed with Caesar. It just... It just didn't turn out right for him. But do I think DJ Envy is a real estate scammer? Do I think he was running a Ponzi scheme? Do I think he was the mastermind and all of these people taking their hard-earned savings and money? Before we get out of here, man, just look. Check this out. We interviewed many of them. I lost $200,000. $835,000 in total. I lost a total of $64,000. I lost a million dollars. You see what I'm saying? So I understand the seriousness of the situation and what DJ Envy is involved in and why he's so caught up in the situation because you kind of affiliated to the dude. Y'all kind of was doing certain things together and it got you looking like you was helping him do this. Now... Until we see further, we will never know if DJ Envy took more action than what he's saying. But do I think he know more than what he knows? Of course. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Make sure y'all hit that like button before you get up out of here, man. Subscribe to the channel, man. It's time for that. Culture for the streets, man. Let's go.